Hi students, today we are going to learn how to draw dicot stem transfer section sector diagram. It is very very important diagram for the intermediate BIPC students for your practical examinations. Okay, there is three marks allotted for the diagram out of 30. So, it is very easy diagram. It seems very difficult, but it is very easy. You have to draw step by step. Okay, first of all, let us start with epidermis. First, you draw two lines like this. So, generally, epidermis is a single layered structure. Cells are in barrel shape. Okay, so you have to draw like this. Okay, this single layered cells are known as epidermis and the structure which protrudes from the epidermis is trichomes these are multicellular hair like structures okay these hairs are known as trichomes trichomes are multicellular structures okay now i am drawing cuticle outside the epidermis okay so below the epidermis there is a hypodermis which is made up of colon chyma in dicot stems okay so you draw cells like this generally this hypodermis present in two to three layers okay so you, you draw cells like this and after drawing the cells just you make dark in the corners of these cells okay to represent the colon chyma it is made up of colon chyma so so like this you have to make dark in the corners okay this is colon chyma okay now you draw lines like this with the pencil to represent endodermis and resin duct okay okay now i am drawing cortex below the hypodermis okay generally cortical cells are parenchymaceous cells so it has some intercellular spaces so you have to draw cortical cell cells like this okay this is resin duct okay generally dicot stems have resin ducts in the cortical regions okay you draw cortex like this you draw entire cortex like this okay leaving some intercellular spaces okay you draw cells like this after finishing this we have to draw endodermis below the cortex so endodermis means it is the last layer of the cortex it is the last layer of the cortex generally endodermis also present in a single layer and it is filled with starch grains hence it is also known as starch sheath starch sheath okay you have to dark it like this okay this is endodermis okay, these dots represent the starch grains okay. below the endodermis there is a pericycle it is present in a patch like structures above the vascular bundles generally pericycle is made up of scleron chyma 
okay so now i am drawing pericycle observe carefully okay so you have to make a double line to represent this clear and kaima like this okay so this pericycle is made up of clear and kaima so it is present as a patches above the vascular bundles okay so you leave some gap to draw another patch and draw like this This structure is known as pericycle. Okay. Now, below the pericycle, there is a phloem. So you have to draw phloem cells like this. Okay. Now I am drawing phloem. it is the conductive tissue which transports nutrients from the leaves to all other parts of the plant the main role of the phloem is to transport food materials from leaves to the all other parts so these are phloem cells okay it is a complex tissue so this is phloem now okay after finishing phloem we have to draw cambium okay cambium is present between the xylem and phloem okay so to draw the cambium you have to draw lines like this okay thin lines thin lines like this okay after drawing these lines you have to draw cross lines to represent cells okay so now i am drawing cross lines to represent cells so this is cambium it helps in the secondary growth cambium okay below the cambium we have to draw xylem initially we have to draw metal xylem like this metal xylem is big in size proto xylem is small in size okay this is proto xylem okay you have to draw xylem like this Xylem is also a sclerenchymaceous tissue, so hence I am drawing in double line. Okay, this is xylem tissue. Okay. This phloem. cambium and xylem together called as vascular bundles generally vascular bundles are arranged in a eustachial condition in the dicot stems okay almost completed okay so draw some parent chymosis tissue like this center most tissue is known as pith or medulla
ഓക്കെ നവ് ഐ എം ഡ്രോയിങ് മെഡുലറി സെൽസ് മെഡുല ഈസ് ആൾസോ മേഡ് അപ്പ് ഓഫ് പാരൻ കൈമ സോ സെൽസ് ആർ അറേഞ്ച്ഡ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് സം ഇന്റർ സെല്ലുലർ സ്പേസസ് ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് മെഡുല ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ആൾസോ നോൺ ആസ് പിത്ത് ഓക്കെ സോ the cells which occupied in between the two vascular bundles are known as medullary rays okay now i am drawing medullary rays okay these cells are known as medullary rays okay you draw like this okay it's labeling time it is trichome multicellular tri- trichomes this is this is cuticle outside layer of epidermis and this is epidermis and this is hypodermis okay this is cortex and this is resin duct resin duct okay this is endodermis endodermis okay this is pa- pericycle okay phloem next cambium metaxylem protoxylem medulla or pith or pith so these are medullary rays medullary rays okay completed hope you have understood thank you thank you for watching